There are some really great build videos out there on the QCX Mini, but this is my story. I have little to no experience building anything. I'm really just gonna follow the manual and see how it goes. I was licensed and learned CW about six months ago. I've built a, or assembled, a 3D printed paddle and one small antenna. So just a little bit of soldering. I think I'm in for it, but let's give it a try. Whoa, that's a lot of pieces. This isn't gonna be a step-by-step -step how to build, but it's really about my impressions of, can I do this? How hard was it? Do I think anybody could do it? We'll see how it goes. Dang, that's a lot of parts. Tons of little bitty capacitors. The good part is all these little tiny parts are already put on there, so that's super helpful. Over here, I have my 120 page PDF kit assembly instructions. So off we go. Well, how's it going so far? Um, the first step is winding this giant toroid and oh man, that was tough. There's three separate sections, but you kind of do it all together. I think I counted it about 30 different times. Step one is done? <laughs> Step one is done. <laughs> what do you think, Roscoe? He's helping? I might not know what they're all called, but there's good pictures on the instructions. Time to solder some more. So it's coming along great. Look at all these parts on here. I've got a ton of capacitors, some diodes, and now I get to put on the transistors. This one first, I've got three more, but the good part is look at my pile over here. It's getting smaller. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Wow, I've got the main PCB board completely done the power sound adapters i got the for the antenna more toroids which weren't even kind of as hard as that first one but basically lots of parts and it's done next all i have to do is the what is this one called <laughs> so that was a little harder than i thought i put the display on and when it tells you in the very beginning that you have to keep these little extra wires um pay attention because you need 16 of them right here connect these two boards together now i have put buttons on here extra soldering with these extra wires because the length of them isn't quite right so lots of detail work but if you're patient you can do it all right so that fit nicely right in there <sighs> okay uh, I have it all built and I'm very scared right now because I'm about to add power. So let's see what happens. Here we go. <sighs> we have power. Okay, now I would be really scared if I didn't already know that I'm not supposed to see anything yet. So I have to adjust this contrast here in order to... Ta-da! It's live! Yay! So first thing it says is I select my band and this is a 40 meter. So I'm gonna go to 40 meter and there we go. Next thing I have to do is make some other adjustments which I have to read about. So I'll be back in a minute to get this on the air. I did all the adjustments. We've got plugged into a dummy load on a coax cable. I've got my speaker, battery, I have it in practice mode, so I'm not actually transmitting anything. Here we go. It's right. working. Now time for the real test. Take it off practice mode. We have we have our ICOM uh, set up over here, and we know that even with the dummy load, it should still pick it up. So we're gonna try practice mode off and see if we can pick okay. it up here. I'm at 7.030. Practice mode is off. Ready, ready? Mm-hmm. She's alive. Yay! Woohoo! We gotta swap out the dummy load for an antenna. 
and see if we can make a contact. Let's do it. We have a POTA 20 mast and you may not be able to see it, but it's right up there. And then it's kind of slanting down across our backyard over to here, over to here. Poda dog Rose is helping put up the antenna. This is the Xtenna in-fed half wave. Cut for 40 meters. Ready? Maybe. Ready for some power and hooked up to a real live antenna. Ready? Right, here we go. It's alive. First time being plugged up to an antenna. I hear some Excited. beeping. Ready? Mm -hmm. in our CW Innovations class. He's 599. 599? I bet you. <laughs> Perfect. have goosebumps so that's pretty amazing great experience like i literally built this all by myself and i just where does max live uh virginia, virginia. i just contacted max in virginia yay oh. would i do it again for that experience absolutely was it hard absolutely <laughs> <laughs> how long did it take you to build the whole thing so i started a little bit friday a lot yesterday, a little bit, so probably 10 hours or so. It took me a long time to do, but it was worth it. It was really a lot of fun. 
Um, so if you're not in a rush and you want to have a challenge, go for it. Great job. Super fun. So that was a fun experience for me. Let me know if you liked it. Leave a comment. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps. Uh, we try to do a pod activation about once, once a week and then yep. put videos like this out whenever we can. Yep. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you. 72. Extra toroids I put on there, but they weren't even kind of as hard. <laughs> Kitty interference. Uh, I, I too. <laughs>